Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for Star Trek The Avengers Klingon Warband. This is made by Methidius Entertainment. These models are actually used for the Star Trek uh, Adventure RPG. So this is for basically if you want to add some extra things. Also guys, I'll have a vote at the end of the video of the next two, uh, two other things I have for this that you can tell me if you actually want me to do any unboxing for next. I also want to tell you guys at this minute, I've also been doing some computer game stuff. Um, the reason why I'm doing the computer game stuff is it's easier for me to do. So, like at this moment, unfortunately, my pet next to me is causing me some problems. It's taking me some time to get around to doing this. Anyway, I apologise for that beginning. Let's have a quick look at the front. Well, they're, they're the models you're going to actually get on the inside. I believe it's 10 models in all. Yes, 10 detail, highly detailed um, Klingons. Now... This is actually my second attempt at actually doing this video, if I'm honest with you guys. My first attempt was, I wasn't too sure if I was naming the pistols right, and I had to go get the rule book to, to make sure. And it turned out I was. <laughs> so, let's start with this bag here, and let's take a look what you get on the inside. So, this one's got a disruptor rifle. Let me put my hand behind, and I do have to say, I do really like the details on this. This does look good to me. I love like this sort of little bits there. The models do look very nice, but I'm not a fan of resin, if I'm honest, guys. I'm not... But that's my opinion. There's a disruptor rifle. There's the uh, stand, which looks like it's got like a, sh you know, walking across a ship sort of part. Obviously not a Federation ship. They look like they've got more carpeted or at least better looking steel floors. This probably is more of a Klingon vessel. So yeah, I kind of like that look of that model. Okay, let's grab the next one. Now this one's got a melee weapon. Now I think this is called the Battle... Uh, Battalak. I'm probably pronouncing that terrible because I can't pronounce Klingon. This is a woman. She has a disruptor pistol. She has the melee weapon. Cool. I also believe with resin guys you've got to kind of wash them a little first before actually um, gluing or even trying to paint them. So yeah, not that painting's a big thing that I actually do if I'm being honest. Okay, so let's grab this one here. Oh, that seems to be being a bit awkward for me. I think this one could be the captain. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's coming close. Well, the could be. Could be wearing body armour as well. Across the sort of chest, sort of bit there. I like the coat. I love all the pockets it's got, and again, the detail that they've actually put into it is very good. I'm hopefully going to be picking up the away team um, set soon as well. Okay, so there's your disruptor pistol, and there's the stand. Okay, so let's get another miniature bit here. Uh, this one, she's got the knife. I can't pronounce what the knife is, guys. So I'm not even going to try. So, there's your, again the stand, there's the uh, melee knife, slash, wherever they, how they pronounce it in Klingon. I do like the look of the thing though, if I'm being honest, it does look cool. Just the pistols, mm, they don't look amazing, but the models themselves do look very good. Another female model, this one does not have a disruptor, no it does, so you, technically she could have two disruptor pistols. So yeah. Okay, so we've got one more in this bag and then we've got another bag to quickly look at again it's another female character this one looks uh, different from the uh, last two female characters if I'm honest uh, she's also got the melee weapon but I think she puts it across her shoulder this could be a lieutenant <laughs> my parrot wants me to gain some attention now as well okay so let's look at the sort of hair that doesn't look too bad actually looks really good you know the belt again and have a disruptor pistol. So guys, just want to know how you guys are actually finding the uh, Star Trek Adventures. I haven't started yet. I've got a group of friends I'm hopefully going to be doing one day a month, maybe on a Wednesday and so on, but we'll, we'll sort of see. Okay, so yeah, I've got another, I think I've already done this model. So there's two of the same model here. Yep, disruptor pistol. So that goes with that one there. I think there's going to be a couple of the same ones, just for the um, infantry. Okay, so... 
Again, we've got someone else with a disruptor rifle. Again, very much similar to the one we just saw a second ago. So I'm going to go put that next to that one there. Ah, this one is holding, by the looks of it, a completely different weapon. But they're holding on to it two-handed. Not sure what that one is, if I'm being honest, guys. Some form of sword. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below, because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I think we've got another one with the uh, pistol and knife. Oh no, this is different. This is a male. And does not have the pistol, just uh, an open hand. But again, I do like the look of the knives, if I'm being honest, guys. They do look really good to me. Again, let's, get, let's see if I can get the face. That does look good. The coat. This does look good. I know I do, you know, kudos to you, Mephidius. This does look very, very good. Now, here's the last one. Again, this one. Is it similar to the, any of the others? No, this is another one by, by itself. Let's come in a little. Yep. This does look good to me. So that's what you get for the uh, Warband, for the Klingons. I'm sure there'll be some other Klingon models coming out, especially with the Villains pack that's coming at some point. Also guys, I'm trying to find him, if I can. Yes, I got this at Salute, so I'm gonna do this in, in this video. And this is Khan. This was the model I got at Salute. Khan. Now I think they were going to bring out Villain Pack and I might actually end up with an extra one of these. But I don't mind. I might actually try and paint it, give myself some practice, or make it a, another type of villain. I do like the stand he's got actually. That's kind of cool. Really, really cool. So this is what I got at Salute. Let's just come in just a little so you can see it a little better. There's a lot of good detail on these models. I've got to give them a lot of credit for that. Anyway, guys, I just want to point out, I've also, this is what I'm going to ask. It may not happen next weekend, but it will happen sometime soon. Would you like me to do an unboxing for the Romulans Warband next, or Strike Team, sorry? Or would you like me to take a look at the Star Trek Generations tile set? Um, I'm hoping to pick up the Away Team, the Borg, and the tiles for the Klingon vessels next. I'd like to see where they go with this because I'm very interested in seeing what's going to happen with this this roleplay. Uh, for someone who's actually a Star Wars fan more than Star Trek, please don't kill me. But I do have to say, the roleplay has made me open my eyes up a bit more. I was hoping to get my um, GM screen, but unfortunately I ordered it at the same time as the um, Fallout stuff. Also, guys, I'm going to be trying tomorrow night. Can't do it tonight, unfortunately, because I've got to go to bed and for work. I'm going to try and get this done. Blood Red Skies. And then hopefully on the same night, if not the night after, I will be getting the adventure pack done for Dark Light. All hoping that the animals are well behaved and so on. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to leave a comment, everyone is welcome to. Tell me what you think of the models. Tell me of your experience of going up against Klingons in Star Trek uh, The Adventures game. Do you play in the original? Do you play in the Star Trek uh, Next Generations? Or do you actually play with the normal, you know, the Star Trek that had the guy from Quantum Leap in? I can't remember his name actually in it now. But, or do you play with the, you know, Going off into the Gamma Quadrant. Well, not a Gamma Quadrant, was it? It was, um... Ah, it was Gamma Quadrant, wasn't it? I can't remember now. Because you've got Alpha, Beta, Gamma... What was the other one? Ah! That's where the Dominion comes from, if I remember rightly. Ah, it doesn't matter now. Uh, I'll work it out at some point. But I'm being very interested in seeing them books, because I've actually ordered the other books. I, I like hardback over P PDFs, if I'm honest. Um... So yes, anyway guys, as I'm saying, this is probably taking longer than I wanted it to, but if you do like this video, please click like, if you'd like to subscribe, please do, tell me in the comments what you think, what you think of the game of um, Star Trek, the, the Adventures RPG, tell me if, uh, your own experiences, 
and so on. If you also uh, like like this channel, please subscribe. I, you know, help me on the road to 1,000, everyone. Also, guys, click the notifications. But I do warn you, I do computer games as well. So I'm, I just want you to guys to know that. Okay? All right. See you later. And goodbye.